Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Liberty welcomes storm at Saturday matinee before hitting the road furious. On Wednesday night, the New York Liberty built a 20-point lead against the Phoenix Mercury and seemed on course for an easy win. However, the Mercury woke up and eventually came all the way back to take the lead. However, the Liberty turned on the Jets late and clinched a hard-fought 99-95 win on Wednesday night. After the win, they got a special visit in the dressing room. Tonight's opponent is the Seattle Storm. Seattle are looking for a particularly tough one. Getting back on your feet Thursday night. Where to watch the Gamisten is the place to be. We are the only game in the marquee. So the party starts after 2 p.m. No Steph Dolson Hanzu is back. But has with one fighting a foot injury. That has been bothering her for a while. She will be resting a bit. Gabby Williams is back on the team. But back in competition. She will be out tonight more about her in a moment. On Friday we learned that Nikki McRae Penson passed away at the age of 51. McRae was a member of the groundbreaking 1996 U.S. Women's Basketball Team that won gold at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. She had a successful playing career in the WNBA before embarking on a successful coaching career. At practice yesterday, Sandy Brindello spoke about McRae, the time she coached her in San Antonio and competed with her in USA Basketball, and offered her condolences to the McRae family. Las Vegas Aces A. Ja Wilson pays tribute to her former University of South Carolina coach and sends love and light to all of McRae's loved ones. New York won Game 1 in May and Game 2 a few days ago. These teams will conclude the season series on the clay courts on July 25th. Gabby Williams isn't he playing tonight but she is back and for a while, it didn't he seem like a possibility. On Wednesday she was asked about her ordeal in dealing with the prioritization rule of the WNBA the French FA, giving her trouble etc. and said, Eek, the prioritization problem isn't going away anytime soon, and leagues need to do something to keep.